Hey everybody, it's Tim, your trainer. Today with your free step workout today, we're gonna to be doing a full body workout, working on mobility, strengthening the joints, strengthening the muscles, and just generally feeling good. We're gonna get moving and do what we do best on the free step. Just feel good no matter what time of day you're working out. I hope you have your water adjusted things so that you're getting a full range of motion with your hands as we do this with your knees, not hyperextending your elbows or your knees in case your husband or wife or kids were on the free step since the last time you were on it. I know mine are always jumping on and off. Nice light warm up as well. We're not gonna go too crazy, not too much resistance. Just gonna get things started for about two minutes, get the heart going, get everything feeling good and ready. But today, then we're gonna move to just our legs. We're gonna take our hands off the handles and do two minutes of just legs. We're gonna take our feet off of the pedals as well and do just our arms and then put the feet back on and we're gonna do two minutes of our legs and work our shoulders a little bit with the perfect amount of resistance for those mobility issues as we get oh older, tired, in between workouts, whatever it is, it's the way to keep your shoulders feeling good and feeling healthy. We've got about another 45 seconds of our nice light workout and a warm up. And we're gonna get down to business with just our legs. I like to go with a medium position for my feet placed right in the middle for the legs. And as always, if you need to increase or decrease the resistance at any point to make sure you're getting your best workout, feel free. All right, get ready. In about 20 seconds, we're gonna go just legs. Whatever you wanna do with your hands, if you wanna keep your core tight for as much as you can, feel free to do that. You do you, this is what this is all about, inspiring you and giving you ways to use your free step to the best of your ability every day. All right, four, three, two, and just legs. I'm gonna get those going, huh? How am I gonna turn this up one notch? Well, two, two is good. There we go. Get that workout in. We're gonna do two minutes. We're already about 15 seconds down. Hopefully you've got your water ready to make sure you're hydrated throughout. You're gonna feel really after about, well, let's, let's hold our abs tight for a few more seconds here. You're gonna feel like you've definitely worked your entire body after this workout. Five more seconds, feel those tightening. Draw those abs in, keep that core nice and tight. We're also working on our posture throughout this as well. Those shoulders nice and high and back. If you need to, adjust the back on the seat as well to make sure you're in the right position for you. All right, 45 seconds down already on our first round of Just Legs. We're doing three rounds, by the way, if I failed to mention that. And one minute coming up already. Then we're gonna put our feet up. Make sure when you put your feet up, you have big feet like I do, to put them up and out of the way so that your heels or no part of your feet is hitting the pedals as they continue to go. And that'll give you the ability when we're pumping those arms, we're working our triceps, our biceps if we're pulling, our chest, we're really getting that full upper body workout in. And we're gonna try our first round of upper body here in about 40 seconds. Let's do one more round of drawing in those abs. Draw those shoulders back. Feeling good. Working at your pace. Breathing in. Notice that I'm breathing a lot when I talk. That's one of the reasons in the military we sing our songs. We sing what we call our Jodies because you're breathing when you're singing. If you're talking, you've got music on, feel free to sing along. It's making sure that you're, you're singing and that you're breathing in and out. 10 seconds, we're gonna go just arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stop that nice and carefully. Big feet out of the way, and we're just gonna pump. Two minutes of just this right here. You can concentrate more on the push if you want. You can concentrate more on the pull. All about that mind-muscle connection. Making sure that you're concentrating on what you're working. After this, we are gonna do our shoulders. Put our feet back on the pedals. If at any time you wanna keep your abs tight on this, this is another great time to focus on that core as well. Oh, 30 seconds already. Gonna go by quick. Get that good feeling in a very short period of time. All right. Again, concentrating on whatever part of the motion that you want to for the best workout. The pull, if I wanna switch things up, really focus on that push. One minute down. In one minute, we're gonna put our feet back on the pedals. 
Back in our feet position, our neutral feet position. Feet right in the middle. And then we're gonna do our shoulders. We're gonna do our shoulders without resistance. But you're gonna feel, feel these for sure. <sighs> Always focusing on my posture. Definitely one of those things. You can catch yourself, pull those shoulders back, tighten those abs, and keep all those areas that as we age, want to go forward on us, keep them pulled back. There's lots of exercises you can do as well. All right, we're about 20 seconds away from making the next switch and we'll be well into the end of round one of three. All right. Coming up in 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Neutral position. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna take a quick break, get a drink. And no, I do not have the ability to move my feet and do that at the same time. All right, carefully get your arms out away from the handles. We're gonna do lateral raises. We're gonna do 15. One, two, three, fly like a bird. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, come on, 13, 14, and 15. Very carefully get them around to the front. Front raises for 15. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. A little inside press for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Let's take about a 30 second break. We'll get right back on this. We'll do 10 this round to keep our two minutes in line. All right, that 30 seconds just went away. Here we go, let's start off with our side raises. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inside front raises. One, two, get those little military press over the head. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, back to just our legs. Tighten that core up. Keep breathing. We got about a minute and 45 seconds left here. Go back to just our arms for another two. This is round two of three. Hopefully you can feel everything starting to pump up and feel good. I know my shoulders feel that very quickly. About that second round of 15, I knew I was working my shoulders. It doesn't take much resistance. It certainly doesn't touch much weight. And if you have those mobility or reach issues, or if you want to avoid having them, it's really great to move the full range of the shoulders and get that resistance in for the shoulders. All right, one minute left on just our legs for this round. You know what? One more. Had to go up just a little. Make sure that I'm getting my workout in. Feel free, adjust up or down as you need all the time to make sure you're getting in the best workout for you. Feel like my heart's going a little bit more, my lungs are pumping a little better. Make sure you're hydrated. 30 seconds. We're gonna pull those feet off and go back to another round of arms. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Coming up in 10 seconds. 10. And five, four, three, two, 
and one. Feet up, just arm. Make sure to get those, if you have big feet like I do, make sure to get them out of the way. There we are. Now, you'll find sometimes that your legs are a little stronger than your arms. Most people are. And if you need to reach back and turn that down a couple to make sure you don't have too much resistance against your arms, or you can leave it up. All right. We've already done 45 seconds in this round of upper body. Make sure you're concentrating on which direction you want to go, your push or your pull, to get that concentration for chest and tries or back and buys. Lots of great workouts with lots of great trainers to explain that in detail and make sure you're accessing the muscles you want to access. One minute. Again, keep you mindful of that posture. This is another great time to pull back on my abs for another 10 seconds and remind myself how to sit up straight. All right. We are about to the next 30 second mark. We'll be counting down back to another round of our shoulders. This time we'll do two sets of 10 on our rounds. Make sure we stay in time. All right, coming up. 20 seconds away before the switch. If you wanna get a drink, that's a great time to do it. And 10 seconds. Get ready for the switch. We're gonna let it stop completely before we do. In five, four, three, two, and one. There we are, stop. Neutral position and side laterals. Get your arms all the way out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Around to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Arms inside, and we're gonna push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we're gonna take our 30 second break. This is the end of our second round. It's going by very quickly. I hope it feels like it is. That means you're in good shape and well conditioned and using your free step often to make sure that you're ready for all these great challenges. All right, in about five seconds, we'll start our next round of 10 and Side laterals out. Make sure to be forcing up on the pinkies. Get those pinkies nice and high. That'll keep the pressure in the right part of your shoulders. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Carefully to the front. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, get them in the middle there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, just legs. We got back on schedule with that one. Just their legs. Keep your abs nice and tight. Tuck in that tummy, that shoulder back. Make sure your low back is up against the pad. I think next time when we switch back to upper body for this last round is what we're in, our last of three rounds. You're doing it. Be a good time for a quick drink at the top of this change. Ah, feels good. 30 seconds down already in this last round of legs. Suck in that core one more time. Tighten those abs. Tighten up that posture. Really gonna help. There's actually, a lot of research that's been done about just pulling those abs tight and holding them there for 10 second, 20 second, 30 second bursts that will actually tighten the core and help pull everything in, work those muscles, 
and draw that stomach in and down over time. It trains that area. One minute down. Everything feels good. So nice to be on a machine. And no impact on the joints that just feel good. Gets everything moving, gets everything worked and exercises without any soreness in all those areas that I normally have trouble with, ankles and knees. A lot of people have hip mobility issues and hip issues. Be able to get that workout and feel so good. 30 seconds. All right. On this one, I'll give us a few seconds of a break in between. Get a drink. Hopefully your drink is within reach. You don't have to get off the free step to do it. And here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, quick drink. Always make sure you're breathing and hydrated. Not at the same time. Feet up, last round of upper body. Tuck that lower body back in, tuck that tailbone up against the machine. And again, use that mind-muscle connection to ensure if you want to be pushing, you're working your chest, your triceps, you can even flex and force against them as much as you want or just increase the resistance. Or if you want to switch that up, there's more of a pull. Really pull those elbows back, tighten those biceps up. Feel good. <sighs> Last round of upper body. You have almost done this. I hope this feels as good for you as it does for me. We're gonna do one round of shoulders and a one minute cool down and you have done it. All right, one minute left on this upper body round. Hope you're firing those muscles of that upper body. Maybe you wanna intermittently change between pushing. Give yourself 10, 20, 30 seconds and then pull. Flexing those biceps like it's a hammer curl. Drawing those elbows back like you're doing a low row or a mid row. Getting all that work in. 30 seconds left. We're gonna put our feet back down, work our shoulders, get our cool down. And you have done it feeling good. It'll be a nice, easy cool down as well. Make sure you're not still working away. You've done your job. 15 seconds. Work it out, here we go. In 10. And five. Three, two, and one. Full stop for safety. Feet back down, tuck that body. There we go. Ah, and shoulders. Side, one, two, three. Force up on those pinkies, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Safely to the front for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inside for push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, gives ourselves about a 20 second break. One more round, you got this, one more round. Shoulders feel good, upper body feels good. Everything just feels worked like we really did a full body workout. Four seconds, arms back, force up on those pinkies in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Safely to the front, front raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Tuck them in for our military press. Inside nice and tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So much use, so much utility throughout our entire lives for keeping our shoulder joints, our muscles strong, keeping everything moving. All right, we're coming up one minute left. 
Make sure we're doing a nice, light cool down. One minute, one minute. Just breathe it out. Deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. You'll feel everything slow down. In through the nose. Really draw those abs in. Thirty seconds left on our cool down. Great job, everybody. Get a good drink of water after this. Make sure you're eating well always, feeling your best. You've done a wonderful job working out. So many great free step workouts to be found on the Teeter Move app. Hope you're enjoying browsing through those, connecting with all the trainers, and finding ways to look good and feel good every day. Not just adding life to your years, but years to your life and making sure that this is all as fun as it can be. Thank you very much. I'm Tim, your teeter trainer. Hope you had a great time today.